So Norishi, I'd like to try and test the hearing in your right ear to begin with. And I'm going to use what's called a whisper test, where I'm going to stand slightly behind you. I'm going to press my finger over your left ear to obstruct the hearing through air of that ear. And then I'm going to, behind you, uh, take a big breath in, breathe out, and then whisper three numbers. So I might say something like two, six, nine and I'll be saying them much quieter than that. And then if you could please try and tell me what you've heard. And if you get two out of the three numbers correctly, that's a, that's a good result. Okay. Okay. So, so I'm just going to press one finger over this tragus here. I'm going to bit breathe in. That's a, positive, that's a good result. And then we would repeat the test on this side. Uh, we'll just do it one more time. I'm holding the traders on that side. Big breath in. Five, seven, nine. That's, that's correct. So you, you've got normal hearing in a sort of fairly uh, sort of global sense for both ears. So Norshi, I'd like to do a couple of tuning fork tests on your ear. And this is particularly helpful if one of your ears you notice is rather deaf. And the way I activate the tuning fork is by just knocking it against my knee. And you can then hear it and feel it vibrating. I'm then going to place it initially against your bone, this bone here, the mastoid bone. And I'd like you to tell me when you hear the noise go. And then I will straight away move the, the tuning fork to your ear to see if you can still hear some noise at that point. Is that clear? Yes. So here we go with the Rene test. I'm going to place there. Please tell me when you stop hearing the noise. Now. Can you hear it now, at all now? Yes. Okay. Now that is a positive test because the air conduction is continuing, is still audible, uh, even though the bone conduction has been lost. An alternative way to do the Rene test is to just ask the Nurashi whether she hears the, the vibration louder at the front or the back, putting them, comparing them at, at the same time. So Nurashi, which do you hear loudest through, when I, well, I'll show you this after, you, the, through the air or through the bone? That's air, that's bone. The air. Again, that's a positive result for Rene with air conduction better than bone conduction. And Norshi, a further test with the tuning fork is the Weber test. And with this, I again activate the vibration and I will then place the tip of the tuning fork just across the front of your forehead there and ask you whether you hear the vibration better in one ear or the other. Okay. I'm going to activate the noise. Now, Norshi, do you hear that better in the left or the right ear, or is it equal in both? It's equal in both. Thank you. <laughs> to activate the tuning fork, most doctors will hit their knee or their elbow like this. Um, some doctors prefer to just flick it like that, but what you should not do is hit it against a hard surface like a table because that doesn't produce the right uh, volume of um, vibrations. And it's very important to hold the tuning fork by the stem like this, not touching the vibrating blades or like that. And when you place it with uh, Weber or Rene, you, you, it's the end that gets placed, not like that. Mm -hmm. And just to be clear for Rene, you're holding the tuning fork with the nearest prong about a centimetre away from the external auditory meatus and not holding the, the fork like that.